The intent of this video is to show how the architectural schema is laid out for the System Modeling Guild profile. So note that we've got several layers of the architecture here. There's the conceptual layer, the functional, the logical, and the physical. Note that all these have been stereotyped so that the uh, elements have the appropriate stereotype and we can use that for filtering. And note the relationships that we use to connect them. Functional elements trace to conceptual. The logical elements specialize or use the generalization relationship to both functional elements and inheritance elements. That is so that uh, elements or um, sub-properties of the functional inheritance elements are fully inherited by the logical elements. And then we use the realization relationship to connect the physical elements to the logical elements. And all of these relationships will be the basis for derived properties that allow us to gain insights into the architecture in a very straightforward manner. Uh, and we will show that in future videos, how we use tables and matrices and derived properties to uh, flesh out the architecture with a minimum of effort and a maximum of fidelity. Here's a representation of the architectural schema in a dependency matrix. This is one of the most powerful tools in Magic Draw. It allows you to show connections between elements uh, using a large uh, amount of customization. Uh, you can show almost anything in a dependency matrix. In this case, what we have is an inventory of all the blocks in the architectural example package. And uh, note that uh, you know this is fairly sparse. We do have generalization, realization, and trace all shown in different colors. Um, row to column. Uh, is what we're using so we can see those. Uh, if I do both, uh, we should end up with it pointing in both directions, uh, which could be a little confusing. Uh, so I just have done row to column. Uh, and we also can come here and just show the ones with relationships. Note that uh, if we were doing like requirements linkages and such, we may choose to show just the empty columns or rows, and that helps us find orphans uh, so we can connect them up. But in this case, we're going to compress this to just the ones that have relationships Note that this now gives us a nice dense matrix, and you can see the functional block is uh, tracing to the conceptual block. The logical system uh, block is uh, specializing or using the generalization relationship to both the functional block and the inheritance block. And then the physical uh, elements all uh, realize their matching logical element.